coming together to consciously lose ourselves, if not entirely, at least a part. It's not about building bonds, it is about stepping into the beyond. That's where a pilgrimage is, when being engaged with the limitations of life becomes tedious, then wanting to step into the beyond becomes a strong need. Otherwise nothing wrong with anything, just that it's limited, that's all. Some realize it's limited early on, some realize upon their deathbed that nobody in this life will go unrealized. Those who realize early are fortunate because they can do something about it. Well, next time, the possibilities that you carry now will not be there, that's all. It may come in so many ways, you may not come, we don't know. Even if you come as another human being, will life fall together to allow this for you again? It's a one in a trillion chance. Spiritual process means it's about moving this individual being from bondage to beyond. Mysticism means you want to explore the beyond. Is this possible? Well, I will not answer that question because essentially you are asking me, I am a bloody fool who is wasting his life doing something that doesn't exist. I will not answer that question is well beneath my dignity to say anything about it. Maybe I don't care a damn about you. I will not invest my life in something that doesn't work. That much is very clear to me. Hello. The pilgrimage means you're on moving in your life, not settling. You're moving, all the time moving. From this day to the next day, you have moved always. If for one day you became stagnant, Stagnation stinks always. So let this pilgrimage become a source of aliveness and that's only possible when you make space for everything.